Van Richten's Guide to the Shadow Fae was released in 2004. Written by Brett King, <coughs> Ruch Leviat, Tad McDivitt, and Penny Williams with interior art by Talon Dunning, Jeremy McClough, Claudio Pozaz, Beth Trott, and Jason Walker. Cover design by Ron Thompson. It is the third in a series of new Van Richten guides authored by the Weathermead Twins. It brings the Shadow Fae into the third edition. The guide, interestingly, starts out with a letter written by Van Richten, who implied that the Shadow Fae were going to be his next guide subject. And he had some journals from the Inquisitor Wynn, if you remember, Wynn from the uh, Servants of Darkness module. Uh, but he did not think they were accurate and was going to write a counterpoint to them. How the twins actually got involved with the Shadow Fae was in their search for Van Richten. So little stories like that make the world more alive. Chapter 1 covers the origins of the Fae and their ties with nature. Chapter 2 covers their basic powers, while Chapter 3 covers their special powers. Chapter 4 covers their weaknesses. Chapter 5 covers the different breeds of their rack. With no, no really any new breeds brought up this time. Chapter 6 explains Fae immortality and how that affects one's mindset on life in general. Chapter 7 covers their interactions with mortals and how some, you know, hate mortals and some like mortals. And it touches upon the children of humans and Fae. Chapter 8 covers the steps to hunt and destroy Fae, with the twins recalling their own Fae hunt, giving us a good picture of how the twins actually work in the field and how effective they are. The appendix covers new spells and new classes, including the new Feyborn race. All of the Fey cataloged in the new monster section of this guide are done with a focus on what class a player can choose to be if they are Feyborn. It will all depend on the type of Arak that is their parent. And the appendix also goes over how to use the Shadow Fey in a campaign. This is another good Van Richten guide, and full of information for player and DM alike. The in-character read is entertaining, and you really get to see the twins in action. I do wish that this guide would have been expanded to also be a type of gazetteer for the Shadow Rift, and had the stats for Maeve and Lot and Gwydion in it. Now I know that job was meant for S, but it could have freed up some time and space for her, so we wouldn't have to cover the Fey all over again and have all the monsters redone again in her Gazetteer Guide of the Shadow Realm. She wouldn't have had to cover the Shadow Realm. She could have just used the Weather Maze Guide and that would have freed up some space for her to do more domains in a guide. I don't know, just nitpicky. I just didn't want to have two separate products covering the Shadow Fae because if she's going to cover the Shadow Fae in her Gazetteer of the Shadow Rift, then why have this product covering the Shadow Fae separately? It just it, it seemed like a uh, it seemed like a uh, not a great use of product material when product material was limited. They were only putting out two to three products a year now, so. You know, you got to pick that spot value of valuable product material. You got to make sure it's a, a real good one and worth it. Because you, you only have so many spots for products in a year. Uh, going off on a tangent there. That's what I was saying. Um, but the guide is solid and I do recommend it. Terror and Beauty join forces. Long have their ways remained hidden to outsiders. Failed by the mysterious Shadow Rift. Who are these creatures, called Arak by some, Elf Folk by others, Shadow Fae by most? What are their motives, and what threat do they represent to the lands that border their realm? Continuing the tradition of the Van Richten guides, this volume reveals these elusive creatures in all their sinister beauty. Discover the history and customs. Unlock the magic and mystery of the Shadow Fae. Those who dare to pursue these beings may discover the strength and weaknesses of those they hunt. 
A section for DMs gives guidelines for creating new Shadow Fae and ideas for using them in Ravenloft campaigns.